Hey there friends, rockers, guitar players, Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage here. Today we're going to be looking at the four string arpeggio, or four string um, electric arpeggio. So, uh, you know, the arpeggios that you can finger pick, those sorts of things. We're doing this more from a lead uh, guitar player's perspective, like uh, Yngwie Malmsteen or Tony McAlpine or Vinnie Moore, guys like that might do. Okay, so we've done uh, two string arpeggios, three string arpeggios. This is the four string arpeggio based off of the C major form. Okay, and um, this time we're going to be doing it slightly different, but we're building off of the other two arpeggios that we've done so far. And um, let's take a look at it. I'm going to show you major, minor, and diminished in this video. And if you want uh, a tablature on this, make sure you visit my blog. The link is below. Obviously, I can't attach a tab to this, so uh, the link is below in the description. If you really want to dig into this and get really good, uh, take advantage of my $1 trial offer of the Unstoppable Guitar System. The link for that is in the description of this video, um, coincidentally. Okay, so here we go. So we're using this form, which is C major, and we're pulling it all the way up to the 12th fret. Well, actually, um, if we were to hold the chord with our two, three, four finger and put our first finger here, we'd slide it up, and that would be our C major chord. Okay, now we're not going to play it like that because that sounds bad, but we can play it individually. We can play the notes individually like this. Okay, and um, And I'm doing a pull off in here, okay? So right at the top. So let's talk about this for a minute. Um, here's the form, okay? So here, this is the 14th fret, 12th fret, um, 13, 12, 15. Those are the notes that we're going to be using. Again, use the tablature, take advantage of my lots of free stuff that I do, and check, it, check out the blog, okay? So here, um, we're going to be doing this. We're going to be saying um, down, down, so for the first four are down, and then we got up stroke, pull off, up, up, okay? Basically we're sweeping down and then we're sweeping up with the exception of that little pull off that gives us a second to get into position. So we have down, 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 okay? Now this 15th fret is going to be a up, and a pull off, and then up, up. Okay, think about it in two different sections. So you have down, 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 up, pull off, up, up. And obviously you don't wanna play it like it's two pieces, you wanna play it like it's one piece, but you can think this way in the beginning, you can go. And then as you start getting it, then it'll start, you'll glue the two together. Okay, now, I haven't practiced this that much. It's not really part of my wheelhouse of what I feel I'm good at. Um, but I could get really good at it if I just practiced it a bit more. Uh, so it's really all about practice. You've heard me say that a lot. Uh, if you practice this, you'll get really good at it. Your pick will just slide across the strings like Yngwie, okay? Maybe not just like Yngwie. If you practice as much as Yngwie, maybe so. But um, that's what you want to do. Now, let's talk about the minor version of this, okay? The, if you know a little bit of theory, which you should, if you don't, you know where to go for that, um, then the theory for this the notes that are behind are uh, three, five, one, three, and five. Okay, so if we want to make this minor, we need to lower the threes by a half step, right? Did I just spit? I think I did. Did you, did you get hit? No? Okay. Um, anyhow, I get distracted easily, I'm sorry. So uh, here we go, so the third note needs to be uh, lower to half step. And the third is right here on the fourth string and on the high E string, 
Okay, we need to lower both of those. So now what it's gonna look like, and again, use the tablature on the blog if you need help with this, if, you're, if you get lost, but it's gonna look like this. sound cleaner if you're do if you're not doing this up here because what's happening is we have some notes ringing out because I'm we're, you basically are hitting the harmonic up there if I'm if I'm down here it's not gonna be as bad okay but for, for the purposes of knowing uh, what's happening theor theoretically and that sort of thing with the tablature and the musical notation, I want you to see this in the key of C. Okay, so there's our minor. Now, if we wanted to make this diminish, we have to lower the fives also. Okay, so the only thing that's staying put is the one, and the only one that we have is right there, the 13th fret of the second string. So, in that case here, we're gonna have all the threes and the fives, it's all the other notes except for that one note is gonna be moved down a half step. So essentially you can take the whole phrase that we started off with, lower it a half step, and bring the one back up to where it was, okay? So. Okay, again, if you need the tab, you know where to go for that. Um, hey, check out this whole series here, and as always, uh, please let me know how I can help you. If you like this video, hit thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, uh, all those places that you need help, I can help you there. Um, comments below, I'll answer them. Um, what else? Hey, please spay and neuter your animals. Be kind to animals. Don't be a species, I, don't, I can't even say it, uh, speciesism. Uh, it's basically where one thinks that their particular species is superior over another just because, which is just not a good enough reason. So, be kind to animals, spay and neuter, um, be kind to one another, don't trust the man, practice the frick out of your guitar, and watch lots of your guitar sage, okay? See ya.